are here with Dan the Man Shackner, better known as the ref of Puppy Bowl 8. He's responsible for reinforcing, oh, hey, see, already reinforcing the rules of play <laughs> and making sure the puppies engage in a friendly match, which apparently is a challenge. <laughs> have some competition. Yeah, it's really unruly right now. Yeah, so, this is some off the field conflict that we're yes. out right now. Yeah, I, I see. I'm gonna set Holly down a little bit so she can talk. Well, it's a good thing you're here, Dan. Thank you. Can you give us a little bit of a background on the puppy bowl and like what well, you are can expect? It's normally a lot quieter than this. Uh, okay. This is puppy bowl number eight. Right. Uh, Animal Planet airs the puppy bowl every year. This year it's um, on Animal Planet Sunday, February 5th, three to five. And it's basically a football game played by adorable puppies. Right. You want to take him? Take him. Um, I'm taking all of them. <laughs> FYI. Well, that's the point of, of, of Puppy Bowl. Every right. single one of the 60 dogs featured on the show are adoptable. Mm -hmm. Through PetFinder.com, AnimalPlanet.com, and these guys are adoptable, too. Oh, my God. Now, the Puppy Bowl gets bigger and better every year. What kind of new things do we have to look forward to this year? So, we've got our old favorites. Uh, we've got the Kitty Halftime Show. But what's really exciting, new this year, is Meet the Tweeting Bird. Uh -huh. So, we've oh got a bird. It's a cockatiel. It's perched up on the stands with a little black blackberry next to him. And oh. he'll tweet game updates and some oh. behind-the-scenes. Uh, action throughout the show. I need show. to so hire one of those. Yeah, you can follow, You can hire your own Meet the Tweeting Bird. I have my hands full over here. Wow. Guys, let's take a look at what you can expect from the action in the field on the big day. We've just started and these two are already in a frenetic Fido free-for-all. That fumble loves to play aggressive ball. He better be careful or he could be flagged. And fumble takes down the Dachshund. All right, that's an illegal tackle. Ten-yard penalty. Don't look at me for sympathy. That was fumble. <laughs> these, <laughs> these dogs are so adorable. Do you do you find it difficult to sort of like lay down the law with them, and it's tough to call penalties? Here's the deal, guys. You got to pick your battles when you're the puppy bowl ref. You can't foul every single infraction. You'll never right. get the game going. Ooh. So you have to pick your battles and get for the really egregious stuff. You know, right. paws in the face, pancaking, that kind of stuff. Extra aggressive. What yeah. about if yeah. there's like, oh, thank you. What if there's like an accident I knew you were going to talk about, we call them puppy fouls. Uh-huh. And they happen <laughs> literally every five seconds. Uh, in fact, what's happening on me right this minute? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and the great thing is, is that, you know, we get a lot of con controversial questions questions like, are these dogs juicing, right? Wow. And oh, now I always say it's clear that we're not. We have plenty of urine samples to prove right. it. Very nat wow. all natural. Yeah. What is the hardest part about being the ref? I guess the hardest part about it is uh, being careful where you step. Uh, we're very large compared to puppies. I have large feet. Yes. So, you know, at any given moment, you can step on a tail, a doggy toe, or a doggy <laughs> present, as you were alluding to earlier. So you just have to be careful, look where you step, and lay down the law. These I'm dogs may not love me, but they respect me. Do you ever feel <laughs> tempted to take them all home? Yes, I own 37,000 dogs. No, I, I live in a Manhattan apartment with two small boys. Oh, They've had so their you're cluttered as is. They're cluttered, but you know what? They have their shots and their house trained, so I've got the animals for now. In a couple of years, I'll certainly adopt a dog. Well, guys, as we said earlier in the show, all of the puppies here today are up for adoption through PetFinder.com and ForePawsSake.com. Who do you have? Us, yeah. Who, so who are okay. these two? So you've got Chris Pringle and Holly. These are rescues. Can you guess what Thank time you. of year they were rescued? Obviously Christmas time. Very yeah, festive. Yeah, just before Christmas, these guys were rescued. And we've got Ariel and Abby are the small ones. Aww, oh, that, I mean, that's, that's Abby. Abby. This is Ariel. Ariel and April. And April. Oh, my God. I've, I've learned, learned all, all of them.